There was no reason for Clive to call Philip dead because he was called Philip. He had been called Philip for a considerable amount of time, even though Philip had in fact passed away right in front of Edna's eyeballs only three months earlier. As a child, Philip had been personally affected by life, something that one day would be the death of him, which of course it was. Looking back on it all, Edna saw her arse pass largely behind her and the figure in the haze filled fart reminded her that it's better to keep moving forward or the stigma of self-flatulence would stick like a toffee to a soft palate. It was at this point in Edna's life that her investment in stocks took a turn for the better, much to the chagrin of her Siamese step to Invicta. It's only gravy, bitch! He'd shout from his little swelling just above her right nipple, a place that he'd become quite attached to, although he did secretly admire the sprawling condo that hung from her twat. In spite of this, a vote was held and Victor won the right to cry for Edna's left ear hole every other Thursday. This he did with great gusto. Unfortunately, the erosion gouged a large gully down Edna's cheek, causing her to smirk awkwardly. An operation to correct the irksome feature only sent out mixed signals and Edna ended up having to have both her nostrils amputated in the confusion. Still, she was able to put on a brave face and smile to the end, something Vitch could never do, especially after Edna was cremated. 